Good morning guys, welcome to Friday's Free Racing Tips video. Hope you're all doing well this morning and looking forward to what is a really good day of racing once again. It's been a cracking week so far in terms of quality, well, from around about Wednesday or so anyway. Um, really good action again today. Looking forward to racing at some of the some of the biggest tracks in the UK, to be honest, with racing coming from Newbury, Newmarket, York, Aintree, and then we're at Kilbegan, Hamilton and Dundalk as well. So a couple of meetings in Ireland, one in Scotland and then four here in England. Really, really good days racing. Looking forward to it. The final day of the Dante meeting, of course, with the, the Yorkshire Cup taking centre stage. The first day of Newbury's two-day meeting with the Lockinge, uh, the big Group 1 British Champion Series race taking place tomorrow. So certainly an exciting time in flat racing. The flat racing season is well and truly underway. We've got um, you know, quality coming with as much most weeks, to be honest. So um, yeah, looking forward to today. Hopefully we can build on what was a decent day for us yesterday. Premium tip, which was Gallib. That absolutely bolted up, didn't it? Um, seemed to be the one that really handled the conditions the best and George Becker didn't really have to ask this horse a question was tipped at seven to four backed into eleven to eight and uh, we never really had a moment's worry with that one we also had a six to one winner in the shape of secret gesture so it meant that the lucky 15 returned some small profit at just about sort of doubled money so yeah decent enough day hopefully we can build on that today as I say busy day um, plenty of form studying done last night but I think we found some decent bets and we're going to start off today by looking at the premium tip which goes in the 230 over at Newmarket and our tip here it's flying fantasy and it's currently a 15 to 8 shot right now now this horse finished third at Chelmsford City on um, seasonal debut and so the second in that race has actually gone on to score twice since. So the form looks to be pretty decent, to be honest. And I think William Haggis has found his charge an excellent chance here. I think the horse should be suited to return to turf and might just be a little bit better than this mark of 70 suggests. Pat Gosgrave um, has been in good form and he takes the ride here. I think he can steer this one home. As I say, it looks to be a good bit of placing from William Haggis, um, a race that's well, it might be a bit harsh to say won't take too much winning, but I did think the Flying Fantasy could just be at the level above these and will strip fitter after that performance. As I said, that looks like decent form. We'll come on for that and looks to be a good bet there in the 2.30 at Newmarket Flying Fantasy. We stay at Newmarket as well for today's Little Earner, which goes in the 3.35 there at HQ. And our tip here, it's Chain of Events. This horse was at 9-1 to one last night. Now best price of around about 8-1, to one, so just a little bit of a nibble in the market for this one. Um, the horse started off an excellent run, actually, with a win at this meeting last year. And um, is now a pound lower than his last winning mark, so has to be considered for this one, I think. Can forgive the disappointing reappearance uh, last time out, as would have needed that run, I think, and should strip fitter here. Looks to have a great chance in this one, as I say. Looking to be quite well handicapped again. One off a mark higher than this last season. Clearly enjoys this course and distance. Conditions will be just about fine. And I think this horse uh, chain of events has big each way claims in this race. So I expect that one to go quite well. So that's the premium tip and little earner. Lucky 15, that's up on the side, freeracingtips.co.uk forward slash today's tips. Um, looking at the big race of the day, it is, as I said, it's that 3.15 at Newmarket, at York, sorry, the third day of the Dante Festival. It is the Betway Yorkshire Cup. For many, this is a bit of a trial for the Ascot Gold Cup. One mile and six furlong, a group two race, and as I said, part of the Czech British Champion Series, this one. Looks to be a battle between three horses, to be honest. You've got Romsdahl, 9-4, to four, who will absolutely love this step in, up in trip, was a really good second in the St. Ledger. Uh, Snow Sky was third in the Ledger. That's around about 11-4. to four. This horse might just need the run, but could still be um, well in contention for this one. And then Brown Panther, the... Um, Better than ever, I think you'd have to say, after his May down win. Seven-year-old, he's at five to two, and 
If I was going to have a bet in this one, it would be Brown Panther. I think he's probably the most consistent. You know exactly what you're going to get from him. And he could uh, use his experience to full use here. And I think he would probably be the bet, but uh, not one I'm going to get stuck into too much. But it will be a bit of a watching brief. And, you know, you can't rule out those three outsiders as well. We've seen stranger things happen in some of these big races. But, uh, yeah, that should be a good race in the 315. Let me know your fancies for that one. But for now, thank you for watching today's video. Speak to you later. And bye-bye.